Uh, college football. Oh. Guys, we'll, we'll get into it here and uh, with NBA stuff. We did that. Yes, sir. Um, so, breaking into college football. Woe Pig Suey, last year, well, the year before, our coach of the year, Coach Pittman, mm-hmm. brought in a squad last year and had a, had a good season. Uh, we'll go right here and, and take a look at that season and uh, segue in here for Dean to to get more in depth. So let's let's go in here and uh, let me pull the screen up here for you guys. Well, I just did. I hit the wrong one. Let's pull this up here and we'll all look at it together. Mm-hmm. This is last season. This is last year. Uh, Twenty twenty two. Let's see if we got it on there. Yeah, we're live on the screen there. No, they went seven and six, didn't they? Um, they started out with Cincinnati and they won thirty-one to twenty-four. Cincinnati was good last year. Yep. Now they'll be moving to the Big Twelve this right. coming year, and I got some mm-hmm. a little tidbit on that before I do South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Cincinnati Bearcats. Um, so they go. They start out three and zero. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. But, but then, then when they hit their stretch for A and M, Alabama, and Mississippi State, they lose. 23-21, and uh, open that door there. Oh, hold on there. They lose. They lose that one. 23-21, and then uh, they go to Alabama. Shouldn't have lost that. They played terrible. 49-26. I thought they played good against Alabama. It looked like at one point they were going to win it. And Mississippi State go to the Bulldogs. They lose 40 to 17. Mike Leach did a great job in that game. I remember that. He, he, was a shock. he was very prepared for that game. Mm-hmm. Coach Leach had, had prepared very well. They beat BYU handedly. Mm-hmm. They played them again this year. They go back on a little tear. They have an off week. They get, they're trying to get through some injuries. And then they go to Auburn. They beat Auburn 41-27. Mm-hmm. Then that's when it, the, the, the ending started. They lose the Liberty in a close game. Yeah, yeah. And Liberty had a good team. Lost LSU. LSU had a good team. They won the West. Then they beat Ole Miss. Right. 42-27. And then for some reason, they go to Missouri and, and lay a big egg. And then they, they have to go to three overtimes to beat Kansas. Beat Kansas, yes. Which Kansas, remember, we were Kansas shocked. Kansas was better. A lot well, better. I mean, last better year. That's the best team I've ever had in their school history. Uh, one football. of them, yes. Not yes. basketball. No, no. And especially not the Michigan's players there. Yes. The Duck Dog was upset about that. He was bothered by that. Now, let's take a look at 2023. And then I'll tell you, after this, I'll tell you what I'm thinking. All right, they're going to open with Western Carolina. Um, I, think, I think they're going to start out 3-0 and again. Kent State, BYU. But then look at it. Then they're going to go to LSU. They're going to play home a- A&M Aggies, podcast listeners. They're going to be at Ole Miss. This will begin the month of October the 7th <clears throat> at Ole Miss. We're talking about Arkansas. Then they're going to be at... Crimson Tide, Bryant Denny, the 14th. Then they will be back home for the Mississippi State Bulldogs uh, the 21st of October. They'll be yeah, off. Go to the swamp. Off Halloween. Mm-hmm. So begin the month, the month of November. They will be at Florida, which is supposed to be a very much improved team. They'll come home and play Auburn. Then they'll play FIU. And they will, will um, host Missouri and the SEC Championship game, which they look to try to be in by winning all of those games will be December the 2nd for all you LSU and Alabama fans because we assume that's who wins the West. Well, from what I've read on them, Matt, i seen absolutely no better, and I'll tell you why, than 8-5. and five. That's including the bowl game. No better. Okay, and here's the reasons why. They do have Rocket Sanders back, mm-hmm. who you agree is great. Oh, man. K.J. Probably- Jefferson, who I wasn't for sure is back. He might be the best quarterback in the conference. They may have the best quarterback running back tandem, tandem in, in the, the conference. Com- in the com- maybe one of the top five in the country. But here's the thing: their tight end transferred. Yeah, he's at South Carolina. <laughs> no receivers. Their leading receiver coming back. Ask me how many catches he's got. Six, nine. Bam. Three linemen no, gone. Okay. Nobody back on defense, how, and their defense was bad. How good they do in the portal? Fair, not great. The recruiting's fair. Because last not year, great. they smoked the portal. They did not smoke the portal Remember, this year. But they did good. Now, they did good. They had a bunch. But it wasn't 
considered the greatest. It's not he don't have seventy one leaving like Dion does. No, he? he's got some good players coming in on defense. He does have some good secondary players and a linebacker and a D lineman that they think will help a lot. All right, so and he brought in Dan Enos. Dan Enos is his yes. offensive oh, yeah, coordinator, yeah. which that's good. Yeah. And a lot of people wanted him to be Alabama's coordinator mm-hmm. at yeah, one he, time. He was Do you on remember the, that? He was, he was on the three-name short list. Yes, he was. And uh, Travis Williams is going to come in and do their defense. He was at UCF under Malzahn, I guess. And, well, I guess he had to be if he was at UCF. But, I uh, mean, their schedule's tough, man. Now let's go back and let's look over something right there. I do like the fact that they've got Jefferson and Sanders, but it just don't look like the pieces around them are. Mm. Most of their transfers are from our defense. So you're thinking that <clears throat> by eight and five, the starting of September, the middle of September is going to be a yeah. uh, a drag. They're going to have to go to LSU. They're not winning that game. You don't I, think? I don't think they'll win LSU, and I don't think they'll win Ole Miss or Alabama. That's three right there. They beat I'm they, they beat A and M. I don't know. That where they play them. Yes, I think they can beat A. It's at Arlington. I mean, it's yeah. at it's at A and M. Oh man, that, that won't be an easy win. I think they win one of them. Well, I think they beat Mississippi State and Florida. I think I go to the swamp. <clears throat> How good are they? They're not very good. Right, <laughs> not right now. But you know, they play Auburn at home. I mean, look at their schedule, man. Eight and five. I mean, that's if they. I'm counting the bowl game too. Cause I think they will go to a bowl. Hmm. I mean, that's tough. Well, let me take a gander here. What do you think? I know what you're telling me. Too they're going to lose. You think they're going to lose to LSU for sure, right? Yeah. I think they'll lose to Alabama. That's two. They may not lose three or four games. I don't think they lose five. You don't think they lose five? No. I'm picking them to go eight and five, which was an improvement over last year. But I think the one bringing in the new one, coaches is two, going to help. Three, That's three. Three and one. Four I'm going to pick them to beat A&M. Four and one. Four and, one. Four and two. Four and three. Four and three. Five and five three. Five and three. Six, seven. Six and three. Seven and three. Eight. eight nine. Nine and three. You think they'll go... They shouldn't lose four of those games. Auburn is in a shambles. Right. right. They, they're not ready to play football. Did you see their spring game? Yeah. yeah it's, they're not ready tough. to play football. CPYU is not bad. But Michigan State QB come in. Can they catch on to it? Can Coach Freeze give him a flash mm-hmm. offense? You got to learn this today. Right. right? We, need you, right. we need you throwing these passes tomorrow. And this right. Burton quarterback, a receiver from Ohio State, we need you run these routes like this week. Mm-hmm. I just don't. They could give them trouble. They could. And it's it's, it's but it's at home. I think they'll be fine in that one, and I think they'll beat Florida, and I think they'll beat Missouri. But I don't know about A and M, Alabama, Ole Miss, and LSU. That's four right there. This and run of September and it's October, terrible. it's all back to back to back. LSU. It's at a, they're not beating them at LSU. And they're not beating A and M. They may. They I'm picking them to lose their bowl game. Eight and four, and then lose they, it. Well, they, forget the bowl game. Eight oh, and yeah, four. We don't need a bowl. Game. Eight and four. Just the regular season. Eight and four. You're saying nine and three, right? I'm just being nice. I'm at saying best. eight and four at absolute best. What's the other one? What are we different? What are we different on? You think they? You uh, think they lose to A and M? I think they. I think they beat A&M. Is that the one? That yes. We're, yes. Okay. I think lose. And that could, and I could agree with you, and you could agree with I me think too. They might drop three or four straight there. <clears throat> but we could. The game we're different on is the A&M. Yes, that's the one we don't. But I could go along with you. Yeah. It would take very. No, and I can see your point. It would you. take very little to change my mind. <laughs> right. Right. Well, I just. I mean, I love Sanders. And I love Jefferson, but three linemen gone. But they say Pittman's the best line coach in the country. Yeah. Yeah, he's it's, set bad my man. Yeah. They say he, there's not a better one. Uh, but no receivers. You know one will step up. And the defense was terrible. And they just got to hope these transfer guys make an impact. They lost Sanders and Bumper. Drew Sanders and Bumper. Yeah. And did you know they were 11th in the SEC in defense last year? 11th. 11th. 13th against the... 
run. 13th. Six and a half yards of carry, or six and a half yards of play is what they gave up last year. Mm. And it just is, that's where the question mark is. And like I said, that's where they've got, they've, that's where they've got some, uh, they've got the transfers coming in. Uh, me and you, I don't think either one of us are big on freshmen, ha- freshmen having a huge impact, are we? It's usually not. It's it, not feasible to think It's that. usually not likely. Right. Right. Now, yes, when they get older, obviously. 23-17, Nuggets are up on the oh, side. Nuggets are good. They didn't even play good the other night, nearly won that game. But uh, I just, I'm just i going 8-4. and four. You go 9-3. I'm saying 8-4 and four at best. Yeah, I'm saying. But I do not think, I'll leave it with this, I do not think they make any type of push to win the West. No. They've just got, they don't have enough pieces. No. But I do like Rocket, and I do like K.J. Jefferson, who may be, they may, like you said, it's definitely the best running back quarterback combo. Probably. Well, our, our this uh, Thrawn and no. and uh, Hunter. Hunter. Could be. Hey. Could be. But now Jefferson's put what up about, some numbers, man. What about Milrow and Hayes? Well, yeah. I mean, it could be. But preseason, it's going to be Jefferson. Now, Whitehead, the kid that was at Tennessee, he is at South Carolina now. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Uh, I'm just, we're trying. To, I'm trying to think of others. Let's uh, other QB running back tandems around, it's, around it's, here. Uh, Man, we got a lot of schools starting new quarterbacks. See, Beck hadn't started. Uh, Milrow hadn't started. Carson Dart Beck. and Junkins, but you don't think Dart will even win his spot? It uh, don't look that way. Kentucky. I don't know who their running back's going to be. They've got Leary. How many new quarterbacks are in the league this year besides uh, Jaden Daniels? Oh, Everybody, gosh, every one of them, except and for Jefferson. Jefferson, All, Arkansas. That's the top two quarterbacks. Arkansas, LSU. And I'll go on to say in the preseason Lindy's book that we always get, they'll have Jefferson well, number Ole Miss. one. Dart, you know, what, what, Dart and Jack. You have to assume that he starts because he started last year. I would think he'll start at first. I think it'll be his job to lose, and if he does bad, then Sanders is going to be right in real quick. Right in real quick, quick. Quick. Any interceptions? Half time. Get him out of here. I think Dart. <laughs> Come on. I ain't even done nothing wrong. Get it. <laughs> 10 for 10. Go fill up the cup. I think if he starts throwing interceptions, he's done. Uh, and it may be one of them deals where Sanders wins it for three weeks, Dart wins it back, Sanders wins it back, Dart. You remember that How, year Zao and Watts yeah. were the quarterback? I mean, it went on all year. How's the offensive line going to be in Arkansas? Uh, three starters go. Two back. Defensive linebacker, well, Bumper and all them. Bumper gone. and all them's gone. They do have some good transfers in it, linebacker and linebacker. the secondary. One from Pitt from the D line. I mean, they're just from all over, and they've got some mid major guys coming in at receiver. They lost a lot. They lost a lot. But the plus was with their line was that Pittman's the best line coach in the country. Yeah. Yeah, so, Nick tried to get him at Bama. So it don't really matter. When you've got the best coach, he's going to make the other three great. So they're not real worried about their offense. It's their defense. And they're worried about their receivers because they don't have a Burks or a Hazelwood like they did last year. You know, or Hazelwood last year, Burks the year before. They don't have them. And Knox is at South Carolina. And yeah, I know he was tied in. He was really going to help. <laughs> Uh, to say the least. Here's some uh, tidbit before we move into South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Big 12. Brent Yormark, uh, he's the medium broadcast guy. Yeah. Big 12. By 2025, they are thinking to have expanded access, mm-hmm. quote unquote. They're going to mic up the players. Yeah. In game coaching interviews between the first and second quarters. Reporter down the sideline. Coach, at the end of the first quarter there, it looks like things are going well. What can you do to change up the defense a little? Mm-hmm. Well. And locker room access pre and post game. Mm. This is 2025 season. These are things they may be doing because the Big 12 is far behind the Big 10 and the SEC mm-hmm. because of the billion-dollar TV deals. Right, right. And they're adding, who was it, Houston, BYU, UCF. Central Florida. Yeah, so yeah, they're so adding far. those teams. Cincinnati, right? Yes, they're yeah. adding those teams, and now they're going to try to do put mics on. They're trying to add something 
I don't think it's a terrible conference. A little more sugar in their Kool Aid. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. sugar, that Kool Aid's pretty good. Got more sugar in it. Yeah. I don't think they're a terrible conference, do you? Well, they're not the Big Ten or no, SEC. No, but they're, they're not a, a joke. They're a hard third or maybe fourth behind the ACC, probably. Probably behind the ACC. You think they're better? Do you think they're the last of the Power Five? No. Pac-12. You think they're better than the Pac 12? Yes. But not this year, right? They are better. They are. Well, you can look at bowl games. Who they they mm-hmm. win a lot of their games. Yeah. But now we done been through that last week, guys. If you missed that show, go back. Is the Pac-12 elite last week? We said they may be this year, Ooh, but overall, no. no. Overall, no. But man, they got some smoking guns out there. Them boys can throw the football. Oh my gosh, they've got some good quarterbacks and yeah. receivers, and uh, they got some loaded teams out there. And <clears throat> and they may play games in Mexico. Mm. 2025. This is when this will start. Maybe, if this happens. So, that's just something I need to Can I ask something? I'm not being smart. I'm smart. At, what, what's the point? Well, they played in Ireland. Brandon. Okay. Like, why, would they, why would we want to do the Matt and Todd show in Birmingham? Well, so more people could see Matt and Todd yeah. show in Birmingham. Yeah. Then I like, hey, who's those guys? You're trying to market your your appearance. I just I don't think it'll ever fly down there. And I know the NFL is going to London all the time. Remember Marshawn Lynch now went and played in Mexico. I know there has been some huge, games in Mexico City, right? Huge games. Yeah. They have millions. I mean, a yeah. lot of people. Watch. I know a lot of people are going to London. Uh, yeah, yeah. NFL, college day, Notre Dame. Didn't they? they played in Ireland last year, year before. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Nebraska did. Yeah. Nebraska, was it Notre Dame yeah, or Nebraska Northwestern? So. Yeah. Played in Ireland. Yeah. That's, they're just branding, trying to get a little more. Well, it just gets more people watching. Why yeah. would we want to do our show and – in uh, Texas, well, that could be great because then more people. Well, I could see us doing that. Good gosh, I mean, you're which... trying to market your, your market your brand, marketed. Um, so that that may start 2025, and next week we may do some ACC North Carolina. Curious mm-hmm. about Day. Yeah, talked about yeah. him. Another yeah. quarterback. We're missing guys. Don't forget, we know about this kid. We just ain't said yet. We're gonna get into them. North Carolina State, Duke. I'm interested in Duke. Duke is gonna be good. Very. I may do a Wake Forest and the Wolf Pack. Okay. Well, I'll do the we'll Demons do and the Wolf Pack, and you do Duke and NC. Mm-hmm. I may I'm do in, that. I'm, I'm interested in Duke. Yeah. Bring back everything. So they have more production back than anybody yeah. in the country. And they're not going to win it. No, we're not saying Duke <laughs> for the championship. But you just said Ohio State is going to win it. Oh, Ohio State versus Duke. Oh, wow. What a game <laughs> that'd be. Not in lacrosse, <laughs> but in football. We got it. That's why you hit the subscribe button. No, Duke, Duke, Duke. We'll have a good year, I think. Yeah. But, you know, Duke's not Alabama. No, they Duke's have not the, Georgia. They don't have the guys. Right. And Jimmy's even Jack. though they do have everybody back, they're not a lot of five stars in the first place. But I do think they'll have a good team. We'll talk more about that next yeah, week. Next week. Y'all come back. No, you got to talk about SC, don't you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, y'all come back next week and we'll do – some ACC stuff. Yeah. I'm, and then I want to get into Penn State sometime. We're trying to keep uh, everything in the same conference. Yeah, you we'll know, do a conference. Of, Next week we may go. Matt doing may, Rutgers and me doing New Mexico. They don't make a lot of sense. We may do the Big 12 the next. Yeah. We may dig into, uh, who's somebody interesting out there? Maybe Oklahoma and Texas since this is their yeah, last year. Yeah, Oklahoma and Texas. Uh, How are they going to do out there? TCU coming back yeah. after losing a yeah. lot of players. Yeah, I think they're interesting. I think TCU's interesting. We may do a TC uh, BYU UCF Cincinnati. Mm-hmm. What can they Coming offer? In. Yeah, are they going to make the league conference better? I think so. With Oklahoma Houston, Texas leaving, yeah. mm-hmm. as they're leaving out the front door, them's coming in the back door. So I don't think they'll hurt it. <clears throat> we'll, we'll talk about that. So uh, y'all come back, man, every week. Twenty twenty two South Carolina Beamer Ball. What they finish? Georgia State Panthers. Eight and five overall, went four and four in the SEC. They did beat the Panthers thirty-five to fourteen, and then the loss started just the very next week. They traveled to DWR Razorback Stadium in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Razorbacks lost forty-four to thirty. Then they lose to the, the Dogs, the national champions, forty-eight to seven. Then they get on a little winning streak here. Look at here. They go on to Charleston, 49ers, win 46-20. Then they beat SC State Bulldogs, 50-10. to They beat Kentucky at Kentucky, 24-14. That's when things started to turn around. Yeah, took a week off, come back. 
Beat the Aggies, 30-24. That was a good game. That was mm-hmm. on SEC Network that night. Then yeah. they lose one to Missouri. Missouri went on a little rip. Missouri there. went mad last they year. They give Georgia a, a hard game. Yeah, Missouri was good. Uh, at, they won at Vanderbilt, and they lose to Florida. I don't know what happened that game. I, I'm, I remember watching highlights that game and thinking, what? And AR had some freak game. He rushed for like 1,000 yeah, yards. Yeah, and then look what they did after they lost to Florida. Yeah, they beat t- the best team, the number one team. They were one that week. Yes, and they sure. beat them. Yeah, sixty-three to thirty-eight, and then they went thirty-one to thirty in a in a close one. That was a good game uh, against at Clemson. They beat Tennessee and Clemson back to back, and then they went to play Notre Dame and barely lost it, didn't they? Not Buckner had to come back and and win to. Oh, so Buckner come back in in that game? Had he come back in and win the game Ooh, for him? That's, that's interesting. I did not know that. Yeah. But I mean, you got to be impressed with beating Tennessee, sixty-three to thirty-eight. Well, here's the the inside scoop on that, and we talked about it that week after the week it happened. Um, <clears throat> the teams didn't want to. <clears throat> the offense and defense got into it. Right, they were not on the same page that now, week. So they were fussing, and they were like, "Well, by God, I'll show you. I'll tell you what we'll do, smart Alec." Mm-hmm. Uh, when they, they throw another route up there, I ain't chasing after it. They go, I'm going to let them score. And they did. They let them score. So you, you team defense and offense captains were fussing about something. Yeah. Well, South Carolina averaged this. I saw something. 44 points in the last three games. 44 points. Rattler got some big spence back, don't they? But they uh, did not play good early in the year. The black team wouldn't win their little spring game they mm-hmm. played. They had a two-point conversion shootout. Mm-hmm. 1917. Um, Tweedy, the running back, running in to, to score the two to win. Spencer throw 20 passes, connecting for 12 of those. Uh, had a touchdown. He had, he had a, a great bomb, 55 yard bomb to the Bailey. Uh, mm-hmm. he, he's the other guy, the red shirt freshman, played some wide receiver. Wales, he's your guy. He's a name. He's one. a five star guy. Offensive line, there in question. Really don't have a big line, no. back, huh? Coach Lonnie. Teasley, O line, Carson Henry, 6'6, 300 pounds. Uh, he is a five star to keep your eyes on. Carson Henry, he's offensive line. He's a guy to watch. Uh, a guy from West Illinois that they had transfer in. Uh, mm-hmm. And he also had a guy from Yale that's coming in, keep your eyes on. And a new guy, his last name, they call him Tree. And I did a, a thing on him. Mm-hmm. I think I did a recruiting thing on him before Christmas. I remember that when I seen his picture, I do remember. He plays at a high school up on the East Coast. Tree, B-A-B-A-L-A-D-E. Babylon. <laughs> <Yo. laughs> Man, every time he covers, th- I get the John Smiths and the Russ Johnsons. What's that? I can't even pronounce that. Tree Babylon. Oh, my gosh. If that ain't right, I apologize, Mr. and Mrs. Babylon. <laughs> is he good? Tree Beverly. He is really good. He's a he was a big time commit right out of high school. I'm looking him up. Uh, Ball and Anderson are also other offensive guys. And Dean mentioned Knox. He's yeah, a tight Knox. end that Spencer Rattler will be throwing to. Uh, running back game is not going to be too good at South Carolina. They were 12th last year in the SEC, and <clears throat> wide receivers returning: Decaron Joiner is going to be moved. Joiner is uh-huh. going to be moved to. They're going to move him to running back because they're so short at the running back spot. Lord. This Newberry kid come in the portal, and then the one I mentioned a while ago, Whitehead, 6'2", 220, big kid. He transferred from Tennessee. Yeah. To come play Beamer ball. The edge rushers that are back, that stay some kid and the Terrell guy, they know about them. They had a lot of tackles for loss behind the line last year. Ole Miss transfer, Jaron Will, Willis. Is he gonna be good. He's supposed to be there, an edge rusher to be added with uh, Statham and Terrell. Uh, catching the ball from Spencer, the uh, UKWU. Uqua. <laughs> Uqua. 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 He is from Duke. Uh, huh. Left Duke. Transfer Isaac. Uqua. Uqua from Duke. I quit doing him like this. Golly. Uh, other running backs. Kivion Lee. That's not too bad. That's an easy name. Uh, supposedly. Now, this is in a report that I read. Mm-hmm. He's, he reminded them at Penn State of a Shaquan. No, really? Yeah. Hmm. 
he transferred. So he wow. he was a special teams punter returner guy. He he could be good. So look for Lee. He'll be the name on the back of your shirt up there at South Carolina. Uh, other edge rushers: Savelle Smalls from Washington was a five star. Wow. Out of high school, but he's one of those guys that looks good at camps. Uh-huh. And then you put the tape in, and he he takes plays off. Oh. And I'm, we're seeing that a lot now because all these kids go to these camps from high school. Yeah. And then they go to the game, and mm-hmm. it's like end of the third quarter, and you're looking for them. They done took theirself out of the game. They're over sipping water. Yeah, yeah, and they need him in. And but, the game ends up being closer because of it. And when you go to camps, though, you see him at these rival camps, you're going, wow, he, man, this could be. Have recruiting analyst mm-hmm. that can recruit and not just say these guys are good campers, right? Yeah, Rather yeah. good players, yeah. Like yeah. a Cornejo that's around here in high school because mm-hmm. they went and played the state championship game. Mm-hmm. Is he a is he a gamer? Or is he just a camper? He's a gamer. Yeah, yeah. He's he runs hard. He's run hard since he was a little boy. I watched. Yeah. Him. You know, is he don't he don't play any different. No matter who he's playing. Yeah, yeah. He don't. He he. Chase tries to run over everybody every game. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, more defensive backs. They lost two seniors, uh, Smith and Rush. They both went to the NFL, but uh, Dial and uh, the Arkansas guy, this Trey Gordon kid, he's supposed to be good. Trent mm-hmm. Gordon. Trent Gordon. Yep. And uh, the lead kid from Penn State again. Mark his name. If you're a South Carolina fan, listen in. We appreciate you stopping by. So there's questions on the offensive line. They're moving guys to running back. Mm-hmm. Moving guys to running back just so they can have a running back. Maybe more, this is a lead guy. More depth. They need more depth at the running back spot. Right, right, right. Uh, and and I, I'm just, I ain't trying to be ugly. I mm-hmm. watched Spencer's Netflix show. That Yeah. Whatever it was that come on the special. Yeah. It's about him and another kid. He can be a little brat sometimes. Spencer Rattler. You yeah. watched when we played Oklahoma. And, yeah. You know, yeah. I tried, I find myself watching him play, pulling for him. Right. I don't know right. why. Yeah. You want him to do what? Yeah, I do. Most time I don't. I don't, I usually don't just, but I inherently, I, I pull for kids in general. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I want him to be successful because want, he lost want, his spot. At, yeah, I want all kids to be able to go play and make money. Not at, for everybody. Not just Auburn or Alabama or Georgia, you know. Because he was so great when he was a freshman and he lost his spot the next year. But his daddy didn't let him leave. Mm-hmm. He transferred and his daddy said, oh, no, you're not. He's going to transfer again? No. Oh, then. oh he's going to transfer then? Right in the middle of the year when he got hurt. Yes, yes. And his daddy yeah. said, nope. Oh, you I got you. We'll finish here. Then you can transfer. Do you understand? Wow. I like that. Yeah. That shows so you're going to finish out the year. Or you're going to finish here. Then when it opens well, up. I'm going to get my way. I'm going somewhere else right now. They said, no, you're not. That's out. You're going to finish here. What if he gets hurt? You're back in. Yeah. Finish. So he made him stay and finish, and he did. And he was thankful his dad did. And his dad, I've seen that Netflix show again. Y'all go find it. I forgot what's the name, name of it. I can't remember. You can just look up Spencer Rattler Netflix. Yeah, yeah. You'll, yeah, okay. you'll find it. Yeah. There's no way to miss it. But his dad is a real business guy, real straightforward. He's a black guy, and his mom's real slick, straightforward lady. Mm-hmm. Um, and they don't mess around. Really? They're pretty, they're pretty tough on him. But he's a little butthole, man. He's like, he reminds me of me, maybe. That's why I like him. He was he can be a little butthead when he was young. Mm-hmm. Like I could be, too. We probably all was. Yeah. Most kids are. So... It ain't looking too great. So they won, what was they last year? Eight games last year? Eight games. And uh, from what I've just heard from you, know, what's their schedule this year? This year, 2023, podcast listener, Spotify, Apple Cast. They will open the 2nd of September in North Carolina. Or we'll hear more about them next week. Win that game. All right, so I'm going to say, uh, <coughs> they're going to say 0 and 1. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, don't, I agree. Furman, one and one. Georgia, one and two. One and two. I won't give them. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I don't think no way they beat Tennessee two. again. 
It's going to be two and three. Take that big Florida. Okay, three and three. I'll give them Missouri, won't you? You're going to give them Missouri. That's a revenge game. They beat them last year. I need to find out more. I don't. Four and three? Yeah. What about A&M? At A&M. Uh, no, four and four. I agree with that. Then they will be um, hey. Jacksonville State. Rich Rod's going to South Carolina. You think they'll beat them? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you think Jacksonville State will No. Them? no. Oh, I don't they, think. They're not ready for that one. Still, I mean. Yeah, but I mean, that's not why. They're not. They're not ready. Jacksonville State. I'm saying they're going to beat them, but they know. Yeah, those Gamecocks. JSU yeah, Gamecocks. Gamecocks versus Gamecocks. They, they won't be ready. To cock fight. Play. Yeah, be a cock fight. They, yeah. They're not ready to play that D1 yet. I, but they probably will be long. I mean, we'll see how Coach Rick yeah. does. And I, I think he'll do good down there. Vanderbilt. Okay, so they at JSU. So Vanderbilt, we'll say they beat Vandy. Makes them 6-4. and four. I'll give them the bit of feather doubt against Kentucky. 7-4. and four. Not Clemson. No way. Not with no, Clemson. No, not what they got coming back. back. No, it'll be 7-5. and five. So there you go. Seven and five. We, we it's agree the same on as that. last year. No, no, no. They went eight and four. Yeah, because they lost their ball yeah. game to uh, seven and five. We're saying this at best, right? Yeah, it, uh, they shouldn't lose six games. They're, but I won't be shocked if they do. They're going to go bowling. Right. I think them and Arkansas. I just don't think. I mean, they have a right to be covered by us just as much as the better teams. We're just saying that we don't think Arkansas and South Carolina. Yeah, not. Will be SEC champions, no. basically. No, they're not. Uh, no, no, no. Seven and five. I, Both of them. I don't know about them being Kentucky, but Nuggets still up to. 37 I'm 35. Telling you, they can play. The Nuggets up on the Suns right now. Who's got their point? 